We're back and we're up the creek today doing a little bit of our snag bashing and fishing a few plastics. We've got Roscoe here from Nomad. Yeah, plan is to get a few barra. Before you go off in the comments, it is the 27th of October. We ain't fishing the closed season, but it's gonna be a few weeks till this video's out. So we've um, come up here at about lunchtime today and uh, trapped ourselves in. As you can see, it is dead low tide and the fish have nowhere left to go. So it's been a pretty good little start of the session. I'm gonna skip back to that. We're gonna keep fishing, but uh, yeah, been just throwing a few hard bodies around and a couple of soft plastics. That's right, I use some soft plastics and yes, I will tell my kids I have two mums. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to some fishing and I'll come back to you soon. Set us up on about four, I reckon. Only short casts. Put your in here? Yep, certainly do. I reckon the shady side's probably a better option, to be honest, man. But if something looks good on that side, don't be shy of it. Take me a few casts to get my eyes in. Oh, wow. You see that one? <laughs> that, kick, that skip. Right up in there. We will catch a bar off this drain if we can. Oh, there's a pikey in the drain. Your bar? Nice, bro. On the prawn? <laughs> It's a thready. No. Nah. <laughs> He's a nice one, 70 odd. Can't complain with that. What's that? Five minutes of fishing. Was that fish in the bottom? Down deep? No. All right. I've so just jump out of the way, grab my rod off the esky. I'll just put some water on there so it doesn't cook him. Yeah, I just like to get that esky wet before I put fish on it. You dog. <laughs> what have we got, Roscoe? I'm gonna say 73. That's my guess. 70. You're working that deep, eh? No, shallow. Yeah, right. I burnt that crop back across the surface and that's when I saw the swirl. Yeah, right. And then I just pitched it back in. Oh, grab him up. Out the middle. Um, you might be better up on this cast deck, bro. There he is. First fish of the morning. Or oh, it's lunchtime. Can't really complain with that. A little prawn. He's burning him out, eh? Yeah. Mm. Working it a little bit faster. First barra for the um, trip. For the trip for you. Can't complain with that. 70 on the dot, so. I think we are going to probably keep some fish today, but I think it's probably too early and the esky's got too much in there, so you might be lucky, you reckon? Yeah, we'll get it back. Right, yeah, I'll help you, man. Nice. Alright. Send him back home, man. This side. Oh, I'll go this side a little bit nicer. Please, mate. Off you go, mate. See ya! Nice. Yeah. Alright, nice. oh, we'll keep cruising. There's a drain here on the left, too. I thought that was a thready for a second when you had it. Just the way it was fighting. Another one. <laughs> what happened? Oh, the lure's in your back. Yeah. You want a hand? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Wow, that was intense. He come flying out at it. Uh, he's not giving up. Yeah. Cheers, bro. <laughs> be better. He's a nice one. Man, that was such a weird bite. You, um, can't wait to see that hook set on camera. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> trying to wind in. You're coming from right up in there. That's number three or three bites. I'm not complaining with that. Is that running? Yep, it sure is. Yeah, first one for me for the day. Just testing out them new little heavy duty Chimera hooks from BKK. It's a four and a half inch RT shad. And that's a 70 odd drain barra. Can't really complain. You don't really see me fish plastics too much, but yeah, that bite was pretty cool. I watched the whole thing. Not running any weight on there, so. It um, stays up nice and close to the top. You can see that hook's got a super slide finish, which is like a little Teflon coating, which, um, yeah, just finds its mark really easy. That's the first bite I got on it and converted him. So, happy days. What have we got? Pretty much same as the last one, 71 on the dot. Can't complain with that. He is going home. Come back. Another time. Yes. How's a crab meant to get into that? I only dropped them off like an hour ago too, eh? Yeah. It's pretty boring straight, this one. You don't really get much along here. Unless there's threadies patrolling it. And you'll see it comes up and down. It's like two meters and then comes goes back down. And I always find the threadies around them little mangrove roots, them little prickles, like that. That's a really good spot for a crab pot there. That's where I'll put mine. I'll probably put it a bit higher up on the bank though. Magnificent creatures. Looking for a bin. Get off, you dog. I watched him come out, I'm like, no! I've got more important things to catch today, mate. Another party. No, little G. Grunner. Oh, little Jewy. Mate. Well, usually where these are, there's shreddies. Yeah, see this little one here? That one there? That's a today. Oh, bull <laughs> That's not fair. Baby, come back. That was a good bite too, that one. It's because I've got a new rod on. I'll try and switch him to this, and if I can't, we'll go and get yours. Got him on the rod tip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's choking on it too. He's only a little one, but successful switch bait. <laughs> Cheers, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, little twitch, twitch got him. 
Take that, mate. You wanted that too. Oh my gosh. This one might be your uh, dinner, mate. I reckon he's big enough. Look at that red egg. I think it's about the time we need to start. Down in there. You definitely wanted it. Right down in there. Barely even hooks too. So, only a little fella. Might be legal, he's bleeding, so we want to quickly measure him. Oh, he's not big enough, man. I reckon he's about 50. If he's 58, but I doubt it. 57. <laughs> 57. All right, well, let's get the hooks out of him. Minor surgery here. Mate, your gills are right there. I'm trying to help you. We do not want to tear them. These pliers are the best of this. Just don't move, don't move. <laughs> All right, we should survive that. Rightio. Come on, mate. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> Number two. Successful switch bait. <laughs> All right, we'll go and get your lure now. <laughs> you just flicked it off the snag and hooked up. <laughs> Proper little fella. You want me to just unhook him? Oh, that was nearly hooks in my hand. Yeah, see you, mate. Just spotted a lay down on the sounder. Flick back while we were cruising. I reckon this might be a finger, eh? Oh, he is a finger. Roscoe's got some dinner. If he's big enough, he should be big enough. Yeah, he's big enough. Mm, mm, mm. That? Be more. Oh, that's the new fish. That's the first fish on my new rod, mate. The prawn rod. Yeah, on my prawn and rod. Nice little creek finger. Good tasty size on the Samaki prawn. I've got that with a new prototype. Ugh. Prototype, is it? Or has it been released? They're about to be released. The Titan Diver 6 -0. Yeah. So. Fresh to the market. We're, we're in the mud. I think these have got to be 35, bro. I'll quickly check it. Size and possession, title warmers. 35, limit of five. Let's go. There you go, Roscoe. Get a little feed, mate. I will neck him in the back. It was just here somewhere that I saw it. There we go, little lay down. It's all we saw on the sounder. And I just thought, I'll just chuck this prawn in and see how we go. And that little finger's a result. You can see a couple of nice branches off it. I can't see any more fish in there, but I will give it another cast. That's the new combo I was just talking about. New Dobbin 742 in the Champion Extreme. I'm just spot locker so we don't destroy that snag. A little 200 Conquest on there with 30 pound castaway. 40 pound uh, Sunline in the fluorocarbon leader with that's that new BKK Titan Diver, uh, which is a fixed weight Titan, basically. It comes with a little spinny blade on the back there, but I've taken him off just being a prawn. I don't have too many spinny bladey things on him, eh? So, just got him a little BKK clip there as well. That's the new ones. They should be out now, I believe, I've just been told. So, you should be able to go and get them from the shops there. Uh, 51 snap, I believe. But yeah, that's what they look like anyway. You'll see them in the shop. So, yeah, if you can't see them, ask them for them. But yeah, quarter ounce weight on that 6.0, pretty cool. But yeah, I bought this rod especially for prawning, just with the um, little weedless prawns and stuff. So really soft tip, 6 to 12 pound. Oh, it's 8 to 14 pound. Yeah, 8 to 14 pound. But yeah, really soft tip, but super fast. So snaps back to its natural form really quick, which just gives you a crisper action with your lure, really. But yeah, that lay down is right there. Roscoe's getting his prawny on. That was pretty random. I just sat down to have a little break thinking, oh, we don't usually get many fish in this stretch. So I'm like, oh, a new snag. <laughs> little finger mark.
We'll keep moving up, eh? There was a big snag in the creek just there. Just pepper that hard edge there, yeah. In here. Is that the snag there? Sure is. Right where me lure is. You on? Yeah. Oh. oh. He was your dinner, mate. Yeah, it's in there. You cast straight at it. There's another bar in there too. There's two in there by the looks. There he is. See if he's mate. Oh, he does two. See, fishless, mate. You're rigged up fishless. <sighs> yeah, it's because I said I got two bites and landed two fish on weedless. I really like this rod, eh, for this. You got the longer one there? Is that the seven two? Yeah. Another one. That's a finger, is it? Yep. What's oh, a jack? Sweet, bro. Yeah, nice. He's decent. He gets a look at him. If you can hold him up. And the prawn. Nice, mate. He'd be nearly legal. Just check him. I think was it 35 for them? I don't know. I don't usually keep them, eh? Wonder if I should chuck on a bit more natural colour. I don't seem to be going terrible though. Could have sworn there was another snag here somewhere too. Again. All right, I'm changing colour. <laughs> is that four casts? Oh, I just got hit on the paws. What's he got all over him? Gale rub or something going on. Yeah. Hmm. If I don't get a fish this cast, I'm changing colour. How big is he? Is he? Well, he's bigger than that. Yeah, right. All right, I didn't get a fish. <laughs> All right, what have I got? In the old bucket. I do have a few. Oh, I'm gonna go this one. He looks good, eh? The similar? Again? Oh. This isn't fair. <laughs> Get out of the packet. <laughs> nah. Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Oscar's on fire. All right. He's actually holding really well. I didn't think it was going to. Again. <laughs> yeah. Nice man. Need net. Cheers, mate. Wow, what a productive little snag. You reckon he's bigger? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Here's dinner. There must be a lot of prawns in there to keep full on a May after catching that many fish. Oh yeah, hold him up. Oh yeah. Get off me crocs, mate. <laughs> nice bro. Oh, what is in his? Show me. He's got a lot. Anyway, yeah, I reckon he ate mud when he was jumping. It's a nice fish, though. He'd be 65, 70. 
Have a look, mate. 65. Yep. 64. He's necking them now. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Change colour. <laughs> this one's not big enough. Oh, that's all right. Get on there. 55. That's all right. That's all right. I'm in the game. They want natural. Little cutie. See you, mate. Reckon we've stung every fish on it yet? I would have thought that we'd get a finger off it, eh? The christening and the prawning rod anyway. Would you hook four bar on that? You hook three, I hook one, eh? No. Well, can't complain with that anyway. And there's more of that stuff coming up too. <laughs> that was a pikey. He's still looking for it. Look at him. <laughs> Don't take my plastic, he's going to take it. <laughs> How'd the hook fall out? Have that one. <laughs> the savages, eh? I can't believe he's still there. What a bite. <laughs> nah. Bastol. Yeah, mate. No, he was just in the, yeah. Bit of, no, bit of nothing there. Oh, get that out of the way. Come on, mate. Oh, I love these, um, Titans, eh? I love that straight, the straight um, gape on them because it just folds away. You get such a good hookup rate, eh? For, for weedless. They're not as fishless as the other ones I've tried. <clears throat> he was not getting away. Oh my goodness. <sighs> and another one. Yep. <laughs> Couple kick around. <sighs> How did that hook fare after that? She's solid. Is that six oh? Yeah. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> He's a bit better too. Oh. <laughs> He's choking. He's going to rasp me off, I reckon. <laughs> On the new prawn and rod, mate. Oh, no, I think my prawn's gone. Is it gone? No, it's still there. Oh, yeah. Here's a better one. 
he's a real nice one. <laughs> Holy man, he is the fish of the day. Very nice. Yeah. He fought hard too, eh? He's gonna go. Oh, there's me lure. A little prawny. I love prawning. I love soft plastics. <laughs> Don't flick my rod in the water, mate. Nice. Yeah. Come here. And just relax, mate. Yeah. Nice one. I don't know how many. I've lost count. It's been a good day. He's pretty damn cool. I'm gonna measure him real quick because he's probably the biggest one we got for the day. What have we got? No, nah, my 74 was bigger than that. 72. Can't complain with that though. You want him? Ross, what? Roscoe wants him. He doesn't get to eat barra much, so he's going to the table. Shotgun not dispatching him. He's all yours. Passing to me. <laughs> all yours, mate. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> worry about me, mate. I'll just keep banging them. From never catching a... I've never caught a prawn, a fish on a prawn, ever. And I just gave up on it. Then I bought a prawn and combo. <laughs> now I'm an expert. Imagine setting your crab pot like that. All right, that's us. We've uh, stuffed up the tides, so uh, we're gonna sit here and get chewed by mozzies. Thanks for watching while you're here. If you haven't done it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Peace.